Hello everybody, so I am going to be getting into a little bit of a new craft sort of thing, an experiment really. I've been watching some dyeing videos on YouTube. Um, solar dyeing is really what I want to get into because it doesn't require any pots, any special pots um, if you're dyeing fabric with things. Um, you normally boil it in a pot and you need special, a, a specific, not a specific, you need a separate pot because you don't want to be cooking in the same pot because it'd be toxic or could be toxic. So solar dyeing just requires a jar and we'll show you what I've got going on at the moment in preparation. I'm just getting ready for work at the moment. Hi Merlin, what are you doing? Come, the bug's in your way. Sorry baby. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, baby. He wants his lunch. So let's go and have a look at what we've got going on right now. So I've got some yarn. It's cotton yarn. I've got some uh, merino wool. <clears throat> where it's got a bit of nylon in it, but it's mostly merino. And then there's some sari silk. And then I've got bits of lace that I am not sure are going to take any dye because it might be synthetic. I'm not sure if this is cotton or synthetic fibre. I think it's cotton. That's cotton from a, a work overall that I bought from a charity shop. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything we've got in there, if I remember. Oh, and embroidery floss. Again, I'm not sure if this is a synthetic or not. So what's in here at the moment is some hot water. Or, well, it's not that hot because my fingers in it, but, you know, I've been adding boiling water. And some alum powder and some cream of tartar to mordant the fabric. I gave it a quick wash with some uh, washing up liquid. Um, gave it all a quick wash. Oh, I forgot to wash this actually, but that's fine. We'll see what happens. Um, and then, so yeah, that's going to sit in this mordant overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to wash it. And then we'll start me building our pots. Exciting. Okay, so I have my jars and some things to dye with. And all my yarn <coughs> and things. Now I'm just going to try and decide what is going in here. So... This bowl, and I'm gonna make a lot. <laughs> okay, so I definitely want that in there. There's a flower, to, uh, a butterfly attached to that, that's fine. Uh, am I gonna get full skin in this little jar? Let's just squeeze that. My phone telling me to drink some water. <laughs> uh, I think we'll just about do that in there. <coughs> thread in each if I can I've just noticed there's some pink dye that's staining everything and I think that's from this piece of uh, fabric that I had in here that I dyed with tea Oh, 
not very new. I think all the dyes come out of it. I think it was that one. Um, but anyway. Here we go. Now, we've got another butterfly sign. I'm not sure where the other butterfly has gone. <laughs> An embroidery for the flat one. Okay, so the plan is in this one I'm going to do the black beans and red onion skin. I'm going to do the beans on the bottom and the onion skin on the top. In this one, I'm probably just going to try the yellow onion skins today. And then in this third jar, I'm going to try food colouring. I have some Wilton's. Um, gel food colouring, I'm going to try that now. Let's get some Sari silk up. I'm going to trim into pieces. Uh, I've lost the end. Oh, I just had it. <laughs> Here's a whiter section of the sari silk that I'm going to try in the yellow, which is the onion skin. <coughs> Beans to the jar. That's probably too much. This one, I'm going to put some black and some purple food colourings in because I've heard, I've seen that they kind of split into comp composite colours. So I'm interested to see what comes up. So I'm going to add some boiling water now to these jars and then I'll come back, add the fabric and then we'll add some cooler water. I'm not, I might put some cool water in as well so that we don't boil the yarn too much and felt it. So I'll be back in a moment when I've got some water in these jars. Okay, here we go. So I didn't have any black uh, food colouring. I've just used the violet instead. So let's start with this turtle bean one. Mm. 
Bon, regarde, c'est hop. Ça ne monte pas en une skin, ça ne veut pas. See if we can stuff this in here. Loads <laughs> oh. of embroidery floss down there. Let's try and get some sari silk in. I've got that butterfly in there. some more water. Cover that one up. You can sort of see the yellow dye in that one already. I'm making a white mess today. <laughs> now then, this is going to be interesting. So I'm not sure if this is going to take any colour because I think it's synthetic, but we'll give it a go. have citric acid in this but I might just add some vinegar anyway. Oh there's the butterfly, that's good. So silk and my pocket. Try not to touch this one, I've already got food tie all over my hands. <laughs> <coughs> Let's just add a small dash of vinegar. And 
we'll grab a spatula and we'll just push that down. Okay, you can already see like differences in colour. This is a bit more pinky, this is a bit more bluey, which is lovely. Um, I could probably get something else in that one. Let's see what else we've got in here. stuff um, another lace maybe um, how about a bit more sari silk if I can find the end again lids on, lid on, and then I'm going to pop these on the windowsill for a few days. The reason I'm not putting them outside is because it is sunny right now, but we've had sun for the past few days and then it disappears and the rain comes and it's cold and so it's, oh, it's not very good to see. So at least it's inside it will stay warm. Maybe. That have been looked at. Oh, those colours are already. Excited. Okay, I don't know if you could see the difference on here. It's been um, probably over an hour. And you can see the food colouring one is getting a lot lighter in the water, which means that the dye is taken into the fabric. So I'll look at this one. Mm, nice colours. I think that one might take a little while, I'm not sure. The yellow is not doing a ton just yet, I don't think. But yeah, that's how it's looking. Okay, so it's day two. Um, I've given the jars a turn to look, get a bit more sun on each side. Um, the purple, I think. He's pretty much done. Maybe the yellow. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really shake it, but it's got to leave this thing in there for a couple more days anyway. And the food colouring one. Focus. You can see that there's like purpley colours, purpley pinks, where the dye is taken on some of the fabric. Some of the fabrics still look like they haven't taken on any dye. There's a lot of blue left. I've added a little bit more um, sari silk and some of that, what I think is cotton drill. But we'll find out when I take it out. So hopefully that will absorb some of that blue. Um, but we will see. Very interesting experiment so far. Okay, I can't wait. <laughs> It's the same day. Day two, so I'm gonna undo this and I'll take excuse me, sorry, all of these out. <coughs> <coughs> Should probably put some glitter on it in my I think it's all absorbed, so it seems to be clear. Okay, let me get my uh, oh the vinegar smells quite strong. <laughs> Oh, it's 
even died. Yes, which I wasn't sure it would. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. These colours. Got some slight browns going on and that's okay. Nice. Okay, so the butterflies are synthetics, they do nothing. Pockets got Ooh, greens. That was it. There was still quite a bit of dye left in there actually. Probably should have waited, but never mind. Impatient. So let's see how much is going to come out. A little bit. Just a slight new glue. I think they will come out. 
give this a good squeeze and let it dry and then I'll show you what it all looks like when it's dry but I'm really happy with it so far it's really green colours in here wasn't expecting that nice Um, now we're going to try emptying this one, so let's grab our little pot. Empty these skins out. Ooh. Oh, that's cool variation. Wow. Lovely. Testing out my new microphone today, so hopefully we'll be using that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, as predicted. That's not going to die because it's, as I've discovered, synthetic. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Pop that over there. <clears throat> One more time. Give it a little stir. Yes, I've got some beautiful yellows and oranges in here. Loving it. Okay, another rinse. I can't see anything coming out of it really, that's good. Tiny, tiny bit maybe. dish soap for purposes of washing your art because <laughs> this is something I'm definitely definitely going to do more of oh that smells nice So let's clean up again, squeeze it and leave it to dry and I'll show you what we get. Okay then, so let's get rid of the water out of this one. There's still some blue in it as we can see but that's okay. Now, let's see how that all pinks and purples. How beautiful, right? Let's see. Come on. Difficult to do this one handed. <laughs> right, there's the jar. Now then, let's give it a rinse. It's from what I'm doing and not the size of the sink. Okay. 
of blue tones coming out now. Let's give it another rinse. <clears throat> strong the colours coming out on this leaf. Look at that. So I'm definitely going to be using that again. Uh, cotton draw is taking some. That's good. Again, we've got some synthetics in here. I haven't taken anything. That's okay. Right. A little bit of dish soap. Just keep washing the dish soap out. See how much blue comes out? Not much. Okay, that's good. And then we'll dry it off and then we'll come back for the big reveal on all of them. Okay, so look at these amazing colours. I'm so happy with this and I'm definitely going to be doing this again. And I've actually gone out and bought some more of the big jars from a reuse centre. Um, so I'll show you those when we do the next video because I would like to film it again and show you what we do. So let's start with the, this was the one with the beans, the black beans. It's got some greens and some blues. Don't really see any purple really, kind of maybe, purplish. So with this I definitely like to use a few less beans next time. <laughs> Turn the twine purple school uh, because yeah I just kind of went a bit crazy poured loads in I don't know if this yellow is from this yellow string possibly but it's okay it looks cool I'll be winding that into a cake and using that for something I'm kind of tempted to maybe use these yarns to make granny squares and then do a, a cute blanket you know and then there's my sari silk, which are coming out beautiful. It's like blues and greens. So with these, I'll be using these in journaling, maybe tag ties or maybe to go round spines of journals. Like they'll probably fit around a nice journal spine. And then this, <coughs> it's got quite a lot of green in it. It's very cool, very cool. I like it. Got some very yellow on the back. Uh, I'm not sure what came out of the onion skins. I think the beans overpowered. So the next time, like I say, maybe just a, a small handful of beans in the bottom and then the onion skin on top and we'll see how that works. The yellow may be from the onion skin. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. This is from the yellow onion skin. If you remember, we put the red onion skin in the other one. Um, yeah, I think that's come off from when it was drying next to these. But yeah, that's we've got these beautiful oranges from the yellow onion skin, which I love. This rickrack took the dye nicely. I did put, uh, yeah, so there's quite a lot of synthetics that I used. So I, didn't, I wasn't sure if they were synthetics. Oh, look at that. See that? That's where it's touched on these, I think. <laughs> That's cool. Some little rainbow there. Pretty. So yeah, really happy with the brightness of that. So pretty. <coughs> we didn't really get any brown tones, which is nice. Very nice, nice, vibrant colour. Again, I'll wind that into a cake. And then we've got this. <laughs> beautiful I'm definitely doing this again and I'm going to try and get my hands on some black Rotan's icing and some other colours um, I just have like basic ones for cake making but yeah, we'll definitely be exploring this look how dark and purple this came out with little specks of blue the same on this one we've got a nice little bright hit of blue there 
might have been the one I added second, you know, at the end when we were just having the blues at the top. This obviously was at the bottom of the pot and it sucked up all that pink. I'm not really a fan of pink, but that is beautiful. I would definitely be using that. And then we've got our little pocket. It came out all kind of tie-dyed and awesome. Again, I could use this in a journal or to cover a small journal or as patchwork something. I could use it as a patch pocket on something. I'm not entirely sure, but I love it. And I'm definitely going to be doing more. So I have <coughs> some more yarn skeins. Um, Mordenton. That yellow yarn that I put in the um, food colouring pot. It didn't take the colour like I thought it was going to. I thought it was cotton. But it is 50% cotton, 50% 50 acrylic. So that explains why that didn't take very well so um yeah so we're gonna i have more into some more of that in the white that was before i kind of rinsed everything and all the color came out so we'll see how it goes i'm not expecting fantastic results from that um but we'll just we'll just stick it in and, and see where it goes. Um, I'm more into some more of this fabric. Um, I've still got some of this left over, so we'll do that. I also I bought some more of this merino stuff, and I also bought a skein of bamboo. So we'll see how that goes. And I have a pair of pajama bottoms that are kind of a bit past it. They are actually pink striped and I've moored into those. They are 100% cotton, so they should be fun. We, you know, we might get the pink undertones and the stripes and then whatever colour we use with that. So it's very exciting. Can't wait. So it might be a few weeks before I try that. Um, the sun's kind of disappeared again, so we'll wait for a nice sunny time. But the, the uh, fibres will all be moored into and ready to go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little experiment in uh, solar dyeing and we're definitely going to do it again. So uh, thumbs up if you want to see that. Um, yeah, so I hope you give it a go. It's, you know, it's something easy to do and you, like I say, you can use all of this for journaling if you're not into knitting and that kind of thing. You can use this for sewing books together or doing tag ties sorry I just bumped the mic um I'm used to wearing one <laughs> um oh. Oops, that just fell down um <clears throat> yeah and these you can use for covers or pockets so yeah endless possibilities um give it a go it's great fun but if you're impatient it's a bit of a challenge <laughs> still great fun though so thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon bye guys